The above ground building is about 3,000 square feet and it was built in the late 60s, so 45 years ago. Um, down, be down below is a um, missile, uh, Minuteman Launch Control Center, which is the place that people were and could fire 10 missiles that were located, 10 of them three miles away from here. There were no missiles on this property. This was just the control center, but that control center is 35 feet down. And the way, the only way to get there is by elevator. And so they um, didn't want anybody going down there. So they filled it up full of dirt and cement and put a cement floor over the top of it and put some deed restrictions that said, don't mess around with the elevator shaft. And they all didn't have a an objection other than the fact that I had to come up with a plan and write a work plan in order to show them what I was going to do. So then I continued to work on the work plan and it went back and forth and back and forth and here we are two years later and finally got approval, never knew about a vacuum truck and came across that technique of a huge 13 cubic yard capacity vacuum truck that literally sucks dirt. Um, but unfortunately we ran into, water was always an issue, but the main problem was cement. So when the Air Force closed it down, they poured, I would guess, 30 cubic yards of cement chunks, maybe even 40 cubic yards. There's a pile over there that's big. And those were broken up by jackhammers and lifted out of the hole. We made two holes that were that are two by two, two feet by two feet in this 12 foot cement cap floor and hoisted by rope and small bucket 30 to 40 cubic yards of cement. So it was quite a, an undertaking. And then, of course, an awful lot of vacuuming of dirt and water as we were going along as we got lower. Um, last week we got close to the bottom and we could actually see the first blast door. And uh, today we removed enough dirt away from the blast door to the water had filled the capsule and the water pushed the door open. Not to a dangerous level though, we were always afraid of that but there was enough dirt in front of it that it only opened five inches and a lot of water came out. And so we're dealing with um, water. And so today was a big day because all of this time of digging the dirt and vacuuming, my in the back of my mind or in the front of my mind was, will the door open? How difficult is that gonna be? It's been underwater for 22 years. Um, I might just have a hole in the ground when all is said and done. But luckily the first door is open, which is, it opens it up to the equipment room where the air conditioner and uh, electrical generator and stuff like that was located. And now hopefully maybe even tomorrow uh, we'll get to the second door because we're pumping water out as we speak and We'll see what it takes to get through the second blast door. That door gets us to the actual control center where they had the keys to fire 10 missiles. And so it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that I'm the first and only person to do that, meaning get the dirt out of the elevator shaft. But I think this is unique with um, Minuteman control center. I hope the missileers left and they're not there. Um, I hope to see the computers. Maybe they left the old computers in the desk and just walked away and just left it the way it is. But it's been all underwater, I'm pretty sure, so um, not in great shape. It, it's like going into a pyramid or, you know, I mean, it's like an archaeological find. It hasn't been very many years, I guess, but um, there's a lot of there have been a lot of unknowns and, and we're just kind of opening a door, door at a time.